in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing printing pattern programs in C. So in this video, I'll talk about how to print this pattern. You'll see the logic on this whiteboard, then I'll show the output on my laptop. See, this is the actually same as we have discussed in the previous video, but it is reverse of that pattern. There we have discussed in the first line A, in second line A, B, then A, B, C, then A, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D, E. But here in the first line, we are printing A, B, C, D, E, then A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, like this. So it is reverse of that. You have to change a little bit. See, all the printing pattern programs, means most of the printing pattern programs are same. The structure, the outer structure, the logic is almost same. You have to change a little bit in every printing pattern programs. So you have to think a little bit and you will get it, right? So please don't think that there are so many printing pattern programs and these are so difficult. No, almost all the printing pattern programs are same. If you, if you got once, like for one or two printing pattern, pattern programs, if you would have to think the logic, what should be the outer structure, the general structure like two for loop outer loop would be responsible for the uh, these lines and inner loop would be responsible for the columns like this then you can easily handle any printing pattern programs right so now see first thing you have to do you have to analyze this pattern and you have to divide the pattern into number of rows and columns right so in this one we have how many rows five rows so outer loop we generally take what variable i that should run from 1 to 5 for 5 rows for 5 lines right now simply the outer loop would be from 1 to 5 that's it this is very simple now the inner loop would be responsible to print for printing the actual printing 1 2 3 4 5 columns are there and j is responsible i mean we are taking a variable j for inner loop but we cannot directly write j is equal to 1 to 5 like we have done in the outer loop why because see in the first line j is executing five times but in second line j is executing only four times in third only three times here only two times and here only one time because here i am printing only a in first column i am printing but remaining four columns are what empty empty right so j is changing we cannot directly write j is equal to one j should be from one to five here you have to think a little bit now what should be the stopping condition for j now j is equal to 1 and j less than equal to c so now here c it is always not true that the outer loop should be from 1 to the maximum number that is here we have 5 lines so 1 to 5 maybe you have to change a little bit the outer loop see here in this case you have to analyze the pattern for that thing there can be multiple ways to print this pattern but i am discussing only one way right see when i value is 1 j is executing 5 times when i value is 2 j is executing 4 times like this but see if we write i in reverse order like this i should run from 4 then 5 4 3 2 1 obviously if you write something like this then also it will print 5 lines only only difference is i should run from 5 i should start from 5 to 1 so condition should be i should be greater than equal to 1 and here i minus minus not plus plus same thing right now here for, to find out this condition we are just writing this right if you write this then it would be easy to find out this j condition the inner loop condition when i value is 5 j is also 5 j is also executing 5 times when i value is 4 j is also 4 when i 3 j is also executing 3 times right means how many times j is executing same as the number of i right so here what should be the condition j should be less than equal to i and j plus plus that's it right and here what you will print because we are printing alphabets character so that is why i am writing here percentage c to print a character but see here what is the case uh, what you will write here to print a b c d in the first row and a b c d in the second row like this see if i write something like this 64 plus what j right obviously j is what integer we are taking j integer before this we will have to declare you will have to declare the variables int i and j i am not writing the complete program here right 
So integer value is j either 1, 2, 3 and 64 is also integer. We can add this, right? And if we're writing percentage c, then whatever the integer value is here, the corresponding character value would be printed, right? And these characters would be stored using SCI character system in computer memory and A is what? 65 in SCI system. B is 66, 67, 68, 69 like this. So if we write this in integer form then uh, what would be the case here? This is the pattern but we are not printing integer value we are printing corresponding character value of these right. So I am writing that is why 64 plus J and in the outer loop I am writing per slash n for the new line. Now let me dry run this program for you. See, first of all i value would be initialized with 5. 5 greater than or equal to 1, yes condition true will enter here. Now j would be initialized with 1. 1 less than or equal to 5. Yes condition true will enter here and what would be printed percentage c 64 plus j, j is 1. That is 65 and corresponding to 65 the value is the character is a, a would be printed. Now j becomes 2, 2 less than or equal to 5, yes condition true will again enter here. Now 64 plus 2 that is 66 that is b would be printed, right. Now j plus plus that is 3, how many times this loop would be executed? 5 times because condition is less than or equal to 5. So that is why here what would be printed a, b, c, d and e. Right? When j value becomes what? 4, then 5, then 6. Then this condition is not true. Exit from the loop slash n means new line. Cursor would be new line. Right? Now i minus minus. i becomes now 4. 4 greater than or equal to 1. Yes condition true will again enter here. Now again j would be initialized with 1. Right? Condition true because 1 less than or equal to. Now i value is 4, 1 less than equal to 4, yes condition true. Again enter here 64 plus j, j is 1, then what a would be printed? That is 65, right? Now how many times this inner loop would be executed? 4 times. So what would be printed? a, b, c, d, right? When j value becomes what? Then 2, then 3, then 4, once j value becomes 5, exit from the loop and cursor would be new line, right? So I hope you are getting we are, how we are printing this. Now i value becomes what? 3. Condition true. Again enter here. Now 3 times this loop would be executed. So a, b, c would be printed. Now i value becomes 2. 2 times this loop would be executed. So a, b would be printed and i value becomes 1. Only one time this loop, inner loop would be executed and a would be printed. Once i value becomes 0, this condition is not true. 0 greater than or equal to 1. Not true. Exit from the loop and we got this pattern. Right? So I hope you got how we are printing this pattern. So you have to change a little bit either in this condition or either in the outer loop or the inner loop condition. Right? If this, this kind of pattern, the reverse type of pattern you are getting, simply you have to think like we can, we can do what? We can reverse the outer loop. Outer loop should be from 5 to 1. I mean the maximum lines are 5, so 5 to 1. If this is the simple loop, not reverse, I mean simple pattern like A, then A, B, A, B, C, something like this. So simply you can run this outer loop 1 to 5, the maximum number of lines, right? Once you will practice 10, 15 printing pattern programs, you will automatically get, once you see the pattern, you will automatically get the loop condition and what, 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 what you have to write to print that pattern. Right? But you have to practice for that thing. You have to practice 10, 15, 20 print, printing pattern programs. Right? So now here one assignment for you is, you, you have to print what? This pattern. You have to print this pattern. Please don't copy and paste. Please first of all think how to print this pattern. If you are not getting, then you can take help from internet. Right? But please don't try to copy and paste from somewhere. Right? Now, let me show you the output for this program on my laptop. So now let me create another file for the second pattern named alphabet pattern 2.c and this is almost same as the previous one that is what I am copying the previous uh, code just to save the time and we have to change a little bit it is just reverse of the previous one right. Here in the first row we are printing 5 lines but here I am taking what the user should enter number of rows he or she want to print like 5, 10, 15 so that is why we are taking here rows. 
So, what change we have to do? The for loop, the outer loop should be what? From maximum to 1. So, here I am writing what? I should be, I first of all initialized with rows and I should run from rows to 1. I should be greater than equal to 1. And here, one more change, I should be minus minus. Otherwise, this would be an infinite loop, right? And that's it, J should be same, I uh, J would be 1 to I and we will same, we are printing J plus 64, right? So, now let me just run this program for you. And it is asking number of rows, let me enter 5 and see. It is just reverse of previous one, right? Let me run this again for uh, 20 number of rows and see, right? Let me just run this for 30 number of rows and let us see what it is printing, see. Here it is printing different different characters not ABCD, right? Because ABCDs are only till 26 but I am printing 30 rows. So that is why different characters it is printing, right? Means sky value, uh, the sky value it is which is computed here corresponding to that what whatever the character is, this is printing here. I hope you can see this in at the end of these first three or four lines, right? So now that's it. So I hope you would have to print this pattern. I'll see you in the next video with a new pattern. Till then, bye bye. Take care.